Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're taking a look at the 1967 Sunbeam Tiger. So yeah, this is a uh, car that was based on the Sunbeam Alpine which came out a few years earlier. And the crucial difference between that and this is the engine which we'll uh, take a look at. And as you can see it's not a small one at all. It's a uh, 4.7 litre V8 from Ford themselves actually provided the engine and the gearbox and it produces a healthy 200 horsepower and 282 pounds feet of torque which is a uh, pretty decent amount especially for a car that is essentially British even though it's got British drivetrain and engine and yeah that's why I like this car a lot it takes the uh, pluses from both countries Britain and America and puts them together into one great car so yeah the prototype of this was designed by uh, Carl Shelby who uh, was expecting the car to be produced at his facility but was ended up produced in uh, West Bromwich by uh, Jensen but Shelby still got uh, royalties on every car that was made and there were more than 7,000 made so he certainly got a lot of money out of it and yeah it was produced from 1964 to 1967 and there was two versions, the Series 1 car had a 4.3 litre V8 so slightly smaller than this one and produced 164 horsepower so yeah, it got a big boost in power from the bigger engine and the bigger engine car that is in this one was in the Series 2 there were like more than 6,000 of the Series 1 cars produced but there was only 633 of the Series 2 uh, cars produced uh, only 6 of which came to the UK all the rest were made for America exclusively and yeah, I think this is a handsome looking car it's got a really nice engine which will uh, start it up and uh, have a s listen to it sounds really nice and yeah it's got a really quality interior nice seats, nice dashboard, everything to hand as you'd expect, pretty simple but it's simple uh, nature is what makes it such a nice looking uh, car and a uh, nice prospect to drive it's also got a nice bit at the behind the seats for extra storage pretty decent boot for a sports car of back in the 60s and yeah it's light as well so it makes the most of all that power weighs 2560 pounds so yeah it's not got the most horsepower in the world but because it's light it can make the most of all that power right let's take this onto the track and see what it can do Right, we're at Road Atlanta short circuit, we'll take it round on the first lap and top through it on the second lap. So yeah, as you can see, this is a uh, British sports car with a great sounding engine, quite frankly. Best of British sports cars, blended with best of American engines. And yeah, that's kind of accentuated in the fact that it's a uh, fun car to drive. Uh, it doesn't weigh as much as anything like the American muscle cars at the time, so therefore it's light on its feet. And it's about having power quite a bit less than any of those muscle cars still reasonably fast, 0 to 60, 6.7 seconds, 0 to 116.7 seconds, and it'll go on to 138 mile an hour. 
which is pretty damn good quite frankly because it's so light and nimble it's fun to chuck around the corners and no it's not the fastest like I said no it's not even the best handling or the best in terms of braking but it's such a fun car to drive it doesn't really matter quite frankly and yeah it's easily the surprise of the car pack this car was released in oh damn but as you can see you can still get it wrong because it is still a 50 odd year old car but nonetheless I still love it and yeah, like I said, big surprise. I had heard of this car before, but I never thought it would be this good. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.